Hello, in this tutorial I will attempt to demonstrate how to go about creating Kaplan-Meier plots using the software GraphPad Prism version 6.0a. I opened the Prism software, then I clicked File and clicked on New, then this dialog box appeared. Then I chose uh, Survival tab and in the survival tab I have got few options let's say I'm going to compare two groups uh, so that's what I have chosen here then now click on create I've got some tips I will just close that one off uh, there you go so here I've got three columns the first column is the time elapsed so as you would know with the Kaplan Meyer the procedure you look at the time elapsed before a death or an endpoint was has reached or a event has been censored censoring happens when the patient is lost for follow-up or the patient has refused to be follow up, followed up or at the the time period that if the patient is still alive or the event hasn't happened when the event has happened like a death then you use the number one at censored if it if it if a uh, data point is censured then you use the zero so here at 46 uh, let's say months this patient had died uh, however at in the next row that's at 46 months the patient was censured and so on and this is for the group a and for group B, which you have to put it just below the group A, you can't put it all together. So in group B, at nine months, the patient, in this particular patient had died. At 26 months, this particular patient had died. And at 43 months, this particular patient was censored. And once again, as I mentioned, patient could be censored because um, of loss to follow up, patient has refused to be followed up and uh, also at the at the time at the end of the time of your study you will also censure any patients that are still alive so that's the data set and to look at the the plots you can click analyze or you can actually go directly to results let's go through the usual uh, method so let let click analyze and survival curve so we are going to con compare control and treated and click OK. Okay, so I'll click OK here as well, and we'll look at uh, uh, to to compare the two groups. We'll look at log rank test, which is also called Mantel hyphen Cox test. Um, we can also add error bars, standard errors. Let's say OK. And so here the log rank uh, test, the p-value is 0 0.15, so not significant. Uh, the other test is given here. Um, let's uh, look at the actual graph. There are two kinds of graph. Let's go for the... Uh, so the... So here the graphs have been uh, created for you. One is for test and one is for control. I must say it's a bit difficult to know which one is test and which one is control here. Let's see whether I can change that. I just click OK here. If you if you want to have any error bars, then you can obviously add error bars as well. So I'll take the error bars out. Uh, and also 95% confidence interval once again it just makes it complicated for me for the moment so let's say ok so I've got the graph now so just to differentiate I shall change the color and that might make life a bit easier for me let's see there I go so that's the control that's the treated and uh, you have the plot there for you and uh, once again the software gave you the 
the Cox uh, uh, rank Cox uh, uh, test to see whether there was any significance and there wasn't so I hope this uh, tutorial uh, illustrates to you how graph, graph pad prism is um, such a user friendly software to undertake Captain Maya uh, analysis thank you and wishing you a good day